Hello, everyone, and welcome to this introduction to block party number 98, which is happening tomorrow, Friday, February 25th, starting at 7 a.m. Pacific time. And from 7 to 9 a.m. Pacific time, our first segment will be on food healers. And then we have a segment later on in the day from 7 to 9 p.m. Pacific time. <clears throat> and um, right now I am in Los Angeles. I'm here for about three weeks working on food healers uh, projects, uh, including this Saturday. We've got a big feeding happening in Santa Monica, um, the Saturday, the 26th. And from 1 to 4 p.m. is when we'll be serving food, but I'm going to be setting up there at 10.30 a.m. and I'll start singing. I'll have my Darth Vader costume on. And uh, it'll be similar to <laughs> uh, uh, COP26. Go ahead and Google Darth Vader COP26 to get a feel for that. A lot of good media coverage that we got there in Glasgow, Scotland. Here, we are working towards getting to a place where we have food healers events every Saturday, every Saturday, every Saturday. And we're honing in on exactly the location that we want to have that same event every Saturday. Um, and what's happening is it's really a confluence of things. We're bringing together the vegan community the animal rights uh, community of Los Angeles and beyond. Uh, last night, Sarah and I went to a, a pig vigil um, at uh, Farmer John's where they kill thousands of pigs every day uh, to make uh, meat products. And um, so what's happening with the food healers events is they're becoming this confluence of these different, well, it's, it's one community, but within that community, you have people with different areas of focus. But these include, again, veganism, animal rights, uh, the effort to feed everyone, to end hunger and end malnutrition, and to end the devastation of the biosphere. Uh, the devastation of forests and all kinds of fragile ecosystems uh, caused by animal agriculture, fishing, meat and dairy, et cetera, et cetera. So <clears throat> um, one of the things that's so exciting about our Saturday feeding events is they're growing and they're growing in popularity and they're becoming, um, you know, a, a, a community center focused on all these noble goals. And it feels to me like a real revolution is taking root here, where starting in one place every Saturday, feeding everyone and providing music and entertainment and conversation and community, from there we can grow to multiple locations, uh, mapping to our ultimate goal, as beautifully articul articulated by Dr. Silas Rao recently, and he'll be on tomorrow, uh, the goal of feeding everyone plant-based foods for free all around the world as a basic human right. Um, that's been our goal for, for years now. And now it's really picking up steam and we're putting a particular concentration on Los Angeles. That's why I'm here to get this going in one location, then two, then three, then 10, then 50. And we turn Los Angeles into the world's first compassionate metropolis, um, eradicating not just hunger and malnutrition, but cruelty by eliminating uh, meat and dairy and fish products from the diet of Los Angelinos and then showing the world how it's done and being the world capital of media, entertainment and social trends, um, Los Angeles is in an extremely powerful position to show the world what a compassionate metropolis looks like and how it functions and the benefits of it. And then from there, it'll just spread like wildfire all around the world. So. Come join us as we 
uh, talk about all this and also prepare for a very important press conference on April 16th, which we're co-creating with Dr. Silas Rao, Climate Healers, thecowintheroom.org, et cetera. <clears throat> and um, with that, any questions or comments, Marco? No, I, I think um, just a small comment uh, as, as much as um, this is a, a type of revolution to uh, in as far as we're fighting against um, misinformation, deliberate false information, and, and the, the concept that we need meat in our lives. This is, on a, on a, if you look at it from a more benevolent uh, point of view, it's, it's an evolution. It's our evolution to uh, a better, more loving uh, species, you know, the one that we should be. Uh, without violence and and that this acceptance of violence uh, against animals uh, that that most people don't even realize until you you really have to think about it uh, it's just you know this is the way things are this is the way they should be but it, it's that's not true and once you start uh, taking in all the information you see how easy it is and how much better uh, health-wise, as, as where a spiritually eating a plant-based diet brings us. So I, I think it's very much an evolution to where we uh, need to be. And, and, it's, and it's happening. And it's, it's really beautiful to be part of it. And with that, I'm complete. Awesome. Thank you, Marco. Beautiful. Yeah. And if you, if you combine together this revolution in food, and the revolution in cooling the planet, those two make a powerful combination. And then add in the revolution in collective intelligence. Um, wow. I mean, these are, these are three really components of a singular uh, revolution and spiritual transformation that's just sweeping the earth. So come join us. We'll see you here. Thanks so much, everybody.